And as the events in Ukraine and Russia continue, one local professor has spent an extended amount of time studying at Chernobyl, and he spoke with News 19's Walker Lawson about the significance of Russia's invasion into Ukraine. It's a, it's a huge concern. Meet Tim Musso, professor of biological sciences at the University of South Carolina, who has been studying the impacts of radiation from places like Chernobyl. We've been to Ukraine uh, about 50 times in the last uh, 20 years, and maybe it might be up to 60. During that time, Professor Musso has taken eight students from South Carolina to Chernobyl in the past 10 years to help him research the impacts of the nuclear plant. In fact, most of the zone now, you know, 36 years later, is relatively uh, uncontaminated, but, uh, but again, a sizable portion, probably on the order of a quarter of the whole area, you know, has significant radiation levels. And in fact, we, there's a radiation monitoring system in place there. And just the action of these tanks driving through uh, produced a, a, a large cloud of radioactive dust that was picked up by the, the monitoring sensors. From Musso's experiences in Ukraine, he believes there's several motives for why Russia invaded on such a dangerous area. The reason they went through uh, Chernobyl is because that's the quickest, most direct way to get to Kiev, the capital city. This is there's a you know there's a there's a well, uh, a, a, you know a, a paved, large road, uh, ideal for heavy <laughs> equipment. Uh, it's also uh, access to the western half of Ukraine. You know Ukraine's kind of divided down the middle by by the Dnieper River. Uh, and it's a very large river. The, the other, the other uh, aspect of staging an attack in Chernobyl is that it provides a, a measure of protection uh, against attack, uh, you know, being situated around one of these nuclear power plants. You're not going to send in a strike force, especially if all their troops are sitting there. Musso says as of now, any students planning to study with him will be completing research in areas like Fukushima. He hopes to get back to Chernobyl when things calm down, as he says there is still so much research to be done. In Columbia, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX.